This non-greasy solid facial serum stars some beautiful skin soothing oils and leaves the skin feeling moisturized but not oily. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. Today we are making a solid oil serum starring rosehip oil, oat oil, and olive derived squalane. You can package this formulation in a push-up tube or you can make it packaging free by using a silicone mold to create a free standing bar. Let's get started. The bulk of this formulation is our star oils. You'll need 5.5 grams of ultra light, fast absorbing rosehip oil. Rosehip oil can be beneficial for hyperpigmentation and scarring and is great for acne prone skin. Mine was a gift from Plants Power. You'll need five grams of rich oat oil. This slower absorbing oil balances really nicely with the two lighter emollients in this formulation. It's a lovely anti-inflammatory oil that can help boost barrier function and is great for irritated dry skin. Our last star emollient is 3.5 grams of olive squalane. This gorgeous emollient is wonderfully lightweight. You may have seen it sold as a single ingredient, rather pricey serum. If you love this ingredient, make sure you are purchasing it from a DIY ingredient supplier for a fraction of the cost. My squalane and oat oil were both gifted by Brambleberry. You can learn more about rosehip oil, oat oil, and olive squalane and all of the other ingredients that we're using in today's formulation in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia that's linked below. Make sure you check it out. There are three solid ingredients in this solid facial oil serum. You'll need 6.75 grams of cetyryl alcohol, our primary thickener. I chose cetyryl alcohol in particular because it thickens with a really nice blend of slippiness and creaminess. Cetyl alcohol is much more slippy and creates products with thinner meltdown. Stearic acid is richer and can be a bit more more skiddy, which was just heavier than I wanted for this formulation. If you don't have cetyryl alcohol, you could try a blend of cetyl alcohol and stearic acid instead. Please read the partner blog post for details on how to make that swap. 3.5 grams of plain old kitchen cornstarch helps mattify the formulation and adds a touch of solidity because it is solid. If you don't have cornstarch, you could easily use a different starch like arrowroot starch wheat starch or rice starch instead. I also decided to include just a wee bit, a quarter gram of a colorful mica. I used Just Peachy from Yellow Bee, which was a gift. This is absolutely optional. If you don't want to use it, simply use more cornstarch instead. For added skincare benefits, I've also included two potent antioxidants, a quarter gram of each coenzyme Q10 and vitamin E. Coenzyme Q10 can help prevent collagen breakdown and UV damage. The product I have is Lotion Crafters Coenzyme Q10 10 max. If you have something different, the usage rates might be different, so please make sure you are looking this ingredient up in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more. Vitamin E helps protect the skin from environmental damage and also helps extend the shelf life of the formulation by delaying the onset of rancidity. To make this solid serum, begin by combining the oat oil, olive squalane, cetyryl alcohol, cornstarch, and mica in some sort of heat resistant glass measuring cup or beaker. Place your beaker or measuring cup in a water bath and pop that on the stovetop over medium low heat to melt the cetyryl alcohol. Stir the mixture occasionally so you can tell when the cetyryl alcohol has melted. The cornstarch in the mixture can obscure whether or not the cetyryl alcohol has melted, but a quick stir will show you if there's any solid blobs still waiting to melt. Once the cetyryl alcohol has melted, remove the water bath from the heat and remove your measuring cup or beaker from the water bath. At this point in time, you'll need to work fairly quickly. Thankfully, you're probably not filming this, so you'll have an advantage over me. Add the rosehip oil and stir to combine to kickstart the cooling process. Once the rosehip oil has been incorporated, you should notice that the mixture is a bit more viscous and a little bit cooler. So weigh in the vitamin E and the coenzyme Q10 and keep stirring. Once the mixture is approximately the consistency of unwhipped heavy cream, we are ready to pour it into whatever you are going to pour it into. For the video, I am using a push-up tube. So this is a two ounce paperboard push-up tube that I thought was a one ounce push-up tube. So you'll notice it's a little bit too big for this batch size, but still works. Just a bit of wasted space. If you're using a paperboard tube like I am, take care not to get any product onto the raw lip of the tube because then that will really bleed through and it doesn't look very nice. It's also very easy to get oily fingerprints onto paperboard. So if the appearance of the paperboard is really important to you, make sure you're really careful about that. If you want to go packaging free, you can pour this mixture into a silicone mold and have a free standing bar. If you decide to go this route, I do recommend storing the bar in some sort of a tin or jar that you can reuse later so that the bar doesn't accumulate lots of lint and little bits of hair throughout its life because 
that's kind of gross. Once the mixture has been poured into the thing it's getting poured into, you're going to want to ninja walk that into your kitchen and gently place it into the fridge to fully set up. Once the serum has solidified, you can remove it from the fridge, let it come to room temperature, and you are done. This formulation does not contain a preservative because it doesn't contain any water. Kept cool and dry, I'd expect this formulation to last at least a year before any of the oils in it start to oxidize. For more information on shelf life, please check out the shelf life and preservative section of the Humble Bee and Me FAQ over at humblebeeandme.com. I recommend using this solid oil serum towards the end of your skincare routine. I like to use oil serums after my more watery serums to help reduce trans epidermal water loss. I really recommend making sure that there is some water somewhere in your skincare routine as hydration is really important to healthy skin. Check out my Hyaluronic Acid B5 Facial Serum for a great hydrating skin soothing option. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this formulation, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post about it linked in the description box below. The partner blog post always has information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to purchase all of the ingredients and a whole lot more. So it's a very worthwhile read. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.